Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Uh, today, I thought I'd share just a little project I've been doing. I, I found some scraps laying around uh, the shop and I decided to put together a, a feed trough. So, um, I'll kind of walk you through the process here. So, all I did was took a 55 gallon drum and I cut it in half lengthwise, as you can see. And then I had some 6x6 six six, uh, laying around, and I needed to add weight to it because um, any cows or anything could, could really push it around. So what I ended up doing was taking some 6x6s six and just chopped them off, as you can see. <laughs> it wasn't perfect. I didn't have a deep, deep enough blade, but you know what? It works. Um, it's kind of hard to see here, but I took some... Uh, hex bolts and and uh, drilled them in there put some washers in the side to kind of sink it in so it's nice and tight um, I didn't do any in the middle here I didn't think I need to uh, I think it's gonna be nice and sturdy as you can see I'm shaking it um, but it kind of lined up everything uh, went went well like I said I had scrap pieces of wood laying around so I just kind of Threw it together. Um, one thing that I am missing uh, underneath here, kind of show you kind of what it looks like underneath. I kind of laid two um, two by sixes, running uh, the length of it, kind of to hold the the legs in place. And then I put these underneath to kind of hold this in place. I mean, I don't really need that. I think that's overkill. But on the bottom, I don't have, I, I ran out of lumber, so I don't have one that runs lengthwise, or excuse me, widthwise, right underneath here to kind of hold up the, the 55 gallon drum like I do with this piece right here. Um, as you can also see, I drilled uh, two holes in the middle, so um, if we get a rain, it'll leak, you know, drain the rain out. Um, but this is uh, just a little project I've been doing over over break. Uh, the sucker's heavy. I don't think I'll be able to load it into the uh, the truck on my own. But um, it's a nice little project, though. I you know for for the cost of essentially nothing. You know I was able to to put it together um, relatively cheap. You know I I had. Like I said, excess lumber. I had one of these six by sixes uh, laying around, so I cut it uh, two feet. It's uh, two feet high, um, and then uh, the bolts I had just lying around from a previous project. So um, I kind of they all vary in size. I have uh, I think this one's uh, seven sixteenths by ten inches. You know, and then I go on this side, and I've got two inch, or excuse me, a, a eight inch, um, half inch, a half inch by eight inch. So you know, really, um, it, it it varies. I just kind of threw it together. Um, I had to notch this one out because they eight inches wasn't enough to to make it all the way through. Um, and then on that side, actually, I had a six inch. And I had to really notch it down, um, but you know, it's it's just something that I kind of threw together. I uh, wanted to just get a little feed bunk, uh, make it, and and see how it went. And um, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I don't think uh, the steers will will really be turning it over. Um, but this is just something you got excess laying around. Save you some money, you know. Really, in reality, the feed bunk's gonna last uh, quite a while. I had uh, feed bunks um, prior that uh, was just completely made out of wood, and and uh, the bulls got to them and kind of just tore it up. And with this, I'll really be able to to um, you know minimize the destruction because you know. A lot of it's plastic so you know the the feed bunk itself will will outlast probably me and you know 
how, however long I, I live, but my plan's on living forever. But anyway, I thought I'd just share uh, just something that I kind of did. You know, if you have all the, the material, I'd say it'd probably take you a day really to make it. Um, it took me a couple days, but like I said, it's been over break, so we've been in and out. And, and I really think that, you know, this is something that you can accomplish within a day if you got a bunch of scrap laying around. If not, if you you need the the bolts and and so forth, you know that that might cost you a little bit, and you could even do four by fours. Um, but like I said, I had a six by six laying around and and uh, had no use for it, and so I just was figuring I'd chop it up and and add a little weight to the feed bunk so um, the calves or or the steers wouldn't really um, kind of destroy it. So anyway. Take the information, what you can use out of it, and give you a little idea on, on how to make a feed bunk, um, you know, just out of scraps. So, anyway, until next time, happy farming.